Hey, this is Chris Spiker. Happy Saturday. With me for the first guest spot, Mary Miller with the AV YMCA and Michael Henderson, the executive director over there at the Y. How are you doing? Good. How are you guys? Good. Great. How are you? Wonderful. Hey, it's November. You know what that means? What does that mean in the YMCA world? Today we had uh, uh, one of our turkey trot meetings and we're definitely um, getting ready for our event. So. This is an annual event. Yeah, this is, I think, our my tenth. Yeah, it's yeah. the 10th year, and this is my third time being here with you to, to talk about it. So, The turkey trot. Yep. It's a run, it's a walk, it's a 5K? There's a gobble wobble 1K the, night, uh, the, the evening before Thanksgiving, and then Thanksgiving morning, it's a 5K. Right. What time do festivities kick off their uh, Thanksgiving morning? Uh, well, uh, the staff will be there bright and early, yeah. <laughs> around 5 a.m., um, and then we open uh, around 6 30 to start doing last minute registrations and packet pickup and then the, we start running at 8. You know, people could show up early, they could just find a nice comfortable seat and enjoy the sunrise. It is, many times we do get a beautiful morning. Yeah, so. and it's a park, it's a lovely setting, mm -hmm. and so there's no traffic, traffic nope. close to the park. The Thanksgiving morning, we're pretty much the only thing <laughs> moving through the streets at that hour. No, I say just show up. At, uh, you're encouraging people to register. Absolutely, it is. Uh, it's our fundraiser. It's our only event fundraiser that we do, um, and the proceeds go to benefit the YMCA program. So we're looking to uh, raise forty thousand um, dollars as a result of this event. So we definitely need people to register. And so, if they're registering for how much per person? It's uh, thirty-five dollars um, for the early bird registration. But I bet they get a shirt or something. Oh yeah. Okay. They get uh, they get a bag full of goodies. You get a shirt this year because it's the tenth annual. We're giving uh, participant medals. That's the first time we've done ooh, that. Ooh. Yep. Did not know that. Yep. We're we're usually split between people who want a shirt or want a participant medal, but this year we're we're giving both. Wow. We're going all out because it's the tenth annual. So. So one person is there and they're writing a, a check or using a credit card for $35. Why don't they just make it for an even hundred since it's a fundraiser? I think that's a fantastic idea. And one thing that we do encourage is people to register early and then you can through social media um, encourage other people to register on your team or to donate to sort of sponsor you and, and give to the Y uh, that way. Tell me a little bit about how important social media is to what you're doing at the Y. Ooh, good question, huh? Yeah. Do you, do you want me to talk about the social media? Or I can. Yeah. I just am trying to share the mic. Sure. So, um, so <laughs> not only when you not only when you register as a team, you can also um, um, help people to fundraise and get people to join your team. Actually, so uh, this year I'll be running with my Girl Scout troop, and um, social media on the Y page. We're actually voting for the colors of the shirts too. So, do we have enough going on? Yeah. <laughs> the colors of the shirts. Yeah. Wow. It's the uh, number one Facebook page engagement that we get for the yeah. year is when we ask people to chime in for what color shirt do you want. So. And uh, <laughs> do people talk about this all year long? We certainly we do. do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, because they're like, uh, oh, I have a great idea for costumes for next year, or next year I'm doing this, or maybe I'll wear two sweaters next year. And we talk about you know expanding it to a 10K or adding a bike ride. This year we've got a dog group. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. That's uh, they're gonna walk with their dogs and and that kind of thing. We're the Girl Scouts, or the, we last year we had big participation from the um, the pageants, the Lancaster and Palmdale pageants. Yeah. Oh yeah, the the misses and the junior misses. Yeah. And, yeah. So you'll get maybe fifty or sixty people, girls, right there. Uh, that would be awesome. Yeah. Big, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you, Mary? How do you use social media to uh, generate interest? Um, I promote it a lot. I promote this event mostly, um, and I try to get my friends involved in it too. So, so I use which media. platforms? Uh, in what, like what was it? Uh, there's Facebook. Oh yeah, I, I use Facebook. I use Instagram, Twitter, all of it. Yeah. Yeah, Instagram. That's, yeah. that's what my kids use. Yeah. Like that. That's all built into when you register for the Turkey Trot. It sets you up with a personal web page that you can then share on Facebook to encourage other people to participate. And the goal is forty thousand. Forty thousand dollars. Yep. With the proceeds going to send kids to camp, or provide financial assistance for childcare, or other things that our community.
community needs that the Y provides. I bet that the uh, budget is a little larger than 40000 though. Where do you get all that money? Uh, well, you mean for the you, YMCA? For the ongoing program. So you've got yep. memberships and yep. you probably have some friends and uh, We've some got grants. generous sponsors. Um, a lot of individuals give and then foundations and corporations give. Uh, we've got our sponsorships for the Turkey Trot as well as the registrations. And then we, you know, this is all to offset the fees. So we try and keep the fees reasonable um, because they, what we can charge can't cover the costs of, to operate the programs by themselves. So we do need that philanthropic aspect to, to keep the whole thing flowing. And Thanksgiving, I, I think, is your holiday because everybody else, all the other retailers are focusing on Christmas. Yeah, it's a, it's a wonderful day to, to have an event. It's really, uh, it really feels fantastic. I mean, to get the exercise and the community and the philanthropy and you're done by 9.30 a.m., it's really nice and compact because we do it Thanksgiving morning. It seemed to me last year uh, veterans had a special place in the parade. I saw a lot of flags and a lot of people uh, in, in parts of uniforms. and uh, It seemed like a lot of recognition for veterans that you're uh, you trod last year. They certainly give us a lot to be thankful for. So, yeah, a couple years ago we were lucky enough to have the um, flyover from the, the fire department. So that oh, was yeah. kind of cool. The right? helicopter? Yep. So, yeah. That's just, you know, if they're available and if they happen to be on their way back from a call or something right. like that. So those guys and gals are working 24-7 yep. all the time. Yep. So and it's a wonderful way to say thank you and give back to the community. What are some of the programs that are going on inside the Y? You got the pool and you got the weight room and uh, we have We have all our fitness stuff. Um, we got a lot of great stuff going on for seniors, um, whether it's group exercise classes, you know, they benefit so much from the social aspects of the classes as well as the physical activity. Um, a lot of stuff new for teens. Um, so Mary's our, on our board of uh, managers at the YMCA and she helps us stay focused on teen programming. Every summer, um, the doors of the YMCA are open for free membership for teens. Um, we've, wow. Yeah, we've got our youth and government model legislature in court, which Mary is a, a part of. We've got our model United Nations, which are middle school leadership program. And we've got our bold gold program, which is new this past year, which is backpacking for high school kids. Um, we went to the high Sierras this past year. That Boy, was, that's fun. That was a great time. A lot of, it was smoky this last year, but still a great experience. Yeah, that was something the, the Y's always been big in, is uh, the backpacking and the, the travels. Yep, it's a, it's, a, it's a really, it's a good program and it focuses on leadership and it's just, you know, you take people out of, put the cell phone down and head out into nature and sort of takes care of itself when it comes to the character development that takes place. Somebody's Somebody's uh, listening to us. Uh, we're talking about the Y. Where is the YMCA? Where's the Antelope Valley YMCA? It's located in Steve Owen Park on uh, near 10th and L. And it's just right there. You come up 10th Street and turn into the parking lot for uh, Steve Owen Park, and we're right there. Now, you have uh, free membership for teens during the summer. Correct. That's because they're out of school? Because yep. does the Y have a season? Is it busier at some times of the year than others, or you're just busy all the time? We're busy all the time. It depends. You know, the facility, the health stuff will get a big peak at the beginning of the year. You know, a lot of New Year's resolution traffic. Summer is really big with the teens and summer camp. You know, we go up to Big Bear to sleep away for a week of the backpacking trip. Um, this time is really big as we prepare for turkey trot. So. It's nonstop for us, but then the different programs sort of ebb and flow based on based on the season. So, Michael, do you get to go out on some of these trips, or are you in the? I was going to say stuck, but are you in the office running everything? I am lucky enough to have my hands very much involved in programming. That's where my roots at the YMCA are, and right. that's you know that's obviously the passion that that brings people to the Y. And so, I've been fortunate enough to structure it such that I still get to participate in the youth and government program and I got to lead the backpacking trip this past year. So that is a big responsibility taking people out into the middle of nowhere. It is. It can be because yep. for Mary other, and, and her brother did the trip as well uh, two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah. What do you think? I mean no electricity, 
No, not no at devices, all. right? It was really cold. Yeah, yeah. cold. <laughs> and those little things up in the sky, what are the stars? Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't always see that from coming from the city. Yeah, no light pollution. Mm -hmm. No yeah. light pollution, yeah. And no, no, you can't go inside and turn a heater on. No. No. So that's a good experience. No. <laughs> yeah, it was really fun. Who all is going to be able to go uh, to the uh, turkey trot? Uh, age groups? All of them. We've got, like I said, we've got the 1K the night before. We've got people who run, we've got people who walk, we've got people who push babies in strollers. So, um, you know, we've got people who will be done in 15 minutes, we've got people who will be done in an hour. So, it's it's for fun and it's for charity and it's for to support the YMCA and yeah. everyone's welcome. How do they register? Uh, you go to ymcala.org and you can follow the links to the Antelope Valley branch and then it comes up on the rotating um, picture on our branch. And dogs are allowed, but they should be on a leash. Now you got to be well behaved. Well behaved, dogs. You betcha. Yeah. <laughs> no horses. Not yet. That's a good thing to look forward. You know, I'm sure that's a different city permit that, that we'd have to pull. So, bigger shovel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Will you be out there cheering us on this year? I'll cheer you on. I'll bring my cowbell. Yeah. Bring my cowbell. Great. And I learned that from the LA Marathon, where you you go through these neighborhoods and. Every neighborhood is different. There's somebody on the corner waving you on, and you don't know who they are. They don't know who you are. They're just saying, go get it. Yeah, it really helps. Thank you. One time again for contact information for the ABYMCA. Best best way uh, is either our Facebook page for Animal Valley Family YMCA. We're pretty active on that. Or the website, ymcala.org slash AV. Animal Valley YMCA, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for having us.